we need to have a chat. <laughs> so, over the Christmas period, and probably a few months before that, I've been back and forth with the idea of changing my hairstyle. Obviously, you all are aware that I have dreadlocks down past my bum. Most of that was extensions, but prior to me getting the long extensions, I had extensions already put in my hair when I first ever got dreads, and I felt like I needed to cut the extensions off, take the extensions out completely and just have my natural dreadlocks and then add some new extensions in which were going to be a lighter colour, take a few dreads out the front and have a fringe. So over Christmas period I started taking out my dreads at the front. I managed to get all the ones across the front here out. My hair was nearly to my bum before I actually got dreadlocks and taking out the front ones made me realise how short my hair actually was. I still had the long dreads by this point. One day I was like, why am I so attached? Why am I finding this so difficult to make this change? I'm obviously really holding on to something and I don't know what it is. So I just thought one day I was like, just do it, Lauren. Just, just cut them off. So I did. <laughs> Here's my extensions. I mean, they look really nice to be fair. They're in actually really good condition still, but I needed a change. So once that process was done, which it is now, I have some hair out the front here and my dreadlocks are really short. But this is all my natural dreads. But, but, <laughs> but I, I think I'm gonna take them out, all of them. I've been back and forth with the idea of taking them out for a while. But truthfully, my neck has been so sore with the other dreads. It got worse the past couple of months. And I just feel like it's time for a change. And it's really hard for me to say. I'm, I'm saying this now because I'm going to be taking them out from now on. They're coming out. And I'm not going to show you the process until obviously they are all out. And I don't want you to see my hair prior to that. So that's why I've got it up like this so that it's not giving away anything. I didn't film it before because I genuinely didn't think that I was going to make that decision to just go I think it's time to take them out and I really understand now why people say that dreadlocks are not just a hairstyle they're genuinely a journey these dreadlocks have been with me I know it sounds silly but it's true they've been with me through so much in such massive pivotal times in my life where I've made huge changes changes that have changed the course of my life and I've grown and evolved so much since then I really want to give my hair a break <laughs> my hair's being pulled constantly they're not hurting but to take these ones out the front my head just feels lighter it's time to let go of a certain part of my life once i finally let the dreads go it's gonna help me let go of the stories that they've entailed my hair literally holds a thousand stories and i think once i let that go and start afresh it's gonna help those stories dissolve hopefully i can move on from whatever it is that i'm holding on to I don't know whether people talk about this when they have dreadlocks, how hard it is to actually let them go eventually. And I always imagine myself having them for like five years or something, but it's been two and a half years. I hide behind my dreads. It's as if I don't feel like I'm good enough without them. I'm gonna be brutally honest right now. I genuinely feel like I don't feel good enough without them. And I think that that's one of my issues. I feel like if I don't have dreads, then I'm not gonna be good enough. And I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous even saying it out loud and I'd feel extremely vulnerable saying that, but it's true. I've been back and forth with the idea and I've been saying no like come on just keep them for longer but why why do I why am I why do I why am I forcing myself to keep them longer when my intuition is saying take them out why why what am I holding on to and that is exactly what I'm saying it's as if I'm holding on to something and my hair is part of me so it's like I'm attached to them and it's as if like my hair is the only thing that is causing me to stay attached to those stories and I think that's why it's such a big thing to let go of my hair Hair, it's a massive change and because of that it's going to help me move forward in my life the only thing that's putting me off is how long it's going to take it's probably going to take me like a month to get these out to take one dread out can take about three to four hours it's just going to take so long i'm going to be filming it as well this month of january is just going to be a process of getting these dreads out and feeling lighter again i already feel lighter and just actually being able to feel my hair for the first time in two and a half years which will be crazy but i'm kind of excited at the same time and another thing as well i know a lot of people follow me just because i have dreads i don't want my influence to be just because i have dreadlocks i want to influence in a different way i want to influence in a way where i can make a change i can help people i can develop people's mindset and help people get through life i don't want my hair to be the one reason why people will come to this channel there's a lot of things that i've learned a lot of things that i want to share with you and the dreadlocks are just a part of me and it's a very very small percentage of my personality of 
who I am. There's so much more beyond the hair. That's what I'm trying to say. I think it's time to change. It's time to grow. Not to change. Actually, I don't like the word change. Grow and evolve. It's time to grow and evolve. It's time to move on, move forward in life. And just, yeah, start afresh. <coughs> yeah, it's just time. It's time. <gasps> Oh my god. Once my hair is done, I'll be posting a video of the process of me taking my dreads out. Anyway, my loves, that was just a quick brief video to just explain what I'm gonna do. I just want to share my process with you. I wanted to put a video out there to be like, it's happening because if I don't put this video out there, I won't do it. So stay tuned for the upcoming dreadlock taking out video. And if you want to stay tuned for that video, don't forget to hit the bell button, give me a like and subscribe below. I really appreciate it. Remember there's more to me than just my hair. <laughs> so if you like lifestyle videos, if you like self-development videos, travel videos, I have all of that on my channel as well. So if that intrigues you, please go check it out. My passion in life is to help people. I love I've done so much self-development on myself and I want to help any of you guys develop yourselves as well and know your true self because that is my whole journey in life has been a journey back to me back to who I truly am relearning who I am and unlearning what I have learned from society so please go check out my channel I have plenty of videos on there and thank you for being on my dreadlock journey with me let's start afresh together and see what else unfolds in 2021 anyway my loves so much love and light to you and peace <laughs> bye guys <laughs>